Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Android MySQL database tutorial for beginners. Till now, we have seen how we can create an Android app and connect it to our MySQL database using PHP script, right? And what we have done till now is we have downloaded and installed WAMP server which works as a local server for us on our PC and we were able to connect our Android app to this server using PHP script right now for example we want to connect our Android app to the online MySQL database so for example you have some uh, web hosting on some website like GoDaddy or HostGator or any other website for your um, you know website and you want to connect your uh, MySQL database which is on your web hosting to this Android app how you can do it I'm going to show you in this video okay so for example I have this uh, web hosting for my website called easy online converter and I have this GoDaddy uh, web hosting so this method will work for uh, this GoDaddy and any other web hosting website which uses the C panel hosting right so for example I have this and uh, this kind of hosting also have this uh, MySQL database which you can create so first of all how you can create a MySQL database something similar which we have done with the WAMP server so what you can do here is you can go to the database section and then click MySQL database here and this will open the MySQL database wizard and then you can create your MySQL database by the way I have made a video how you can create your uh, own MySQL database and then you can also provide the MySQL user privileges to your database so this I have shown you in the video and I will give you the link in the description how to create a MySQL database using cPanel okay so this database I have created which is employee 101 which is same as we have done in the WAMP server right and the user privileges are listed here which is employee 101 and the password we will see in a moment so if you don't know how to create a MySQL database using cPanel just click the link in the description and then you can learn how to do it okay so I'm going to go back and now this time I'm going to go to the database category and this time I'm going to click PHP my admin so this web hosting also have this PHP my admin interface as we have seen in the case of WAMP server right and uh, after creating the database I can see this uh, same database here in PHP my admin which has one table which is employee data right now similar kind of uh, database I have created in the last video or in the first video with the WAMP server so I'm going to open the same database so I will go to the WAMP server and just click PHP my admin and it's going to open this uh, PHP my admin using WAMP server right so you can see the database name is same and the employee data which is table name which is also same and it also contains six column and in here our table in the web hosting also contains six column and everything is same here so the database name is same employee 101 the table name is same employee underscore data and the columns are also same ID name surname age username and password and in our WAMP server also ID name surname age and username and password right so I have created the same uh, database and table in the you know cPanel web hosting MySQL database okay now once you have done creating this database just watch the video in the description if you don't know how to do it and then 
go to your C panel once again and now what we are going to do is we are going to go to here which is uh, file here and click file manager here and we will go to the web root here right so just click go and this is going to open the file structure of your uh, you know uh, public HTML directory which is your main directory for your website right and in here what we want to do is we want to create the same PHP uh, you know scripting files as we have done in the case of uh, WAMP server so we are going to create con.php and login.php in our public underscore HTML folder here okay so you can do it in two ways either you can you know transfer these to file which you have already created using some FTP uh, server like filezilla on your website or we can simply create these files using this file manager interface which is uh, shown here so I'm going to uh, take the second option which is creating the files directly here so I will just click this plus symbol file new file and the new file name is I'm going to give the same name con.php here okay so con.php and then click create new file okay and now you can see this con.php is created once again I'm going to create the login.php also here in a same way so just click and just write login dot php here okay and then click create new file and it's going to create this login dot php also now to edit this file I can just select this file and then I can just uh, select this option called code editor and then go to uh, the edit here so I'm opening con.php right so just click edit and it's going to open your file in uh, this kind of interface right so now we can just copy our con.php file from here so whatever data just select all and then go to your uh, con.php file here on your uh, cpanel and just paste it okay now in case of your uh, cpanel mysql database our mysql username and password will be different which you have already set while creating your mysql database using cpanel right so if you have watched this video uh, which is in the description you will uh, see that uh, my mysql username is uh, employee 101 itself right so if you are not sure once again you can just go to the database here and just go to mysql database and in here I can see my username is employee 101 right and my database name is also one employee 101 okay so here database name is employee 101 for connection.php and uh, mysql username is also employee 101 okay now my mysql password is uh, root 123 which i have set at the time of making the database right so just remember the uh, password which you have created at the time of making your uh, database in cpanel now the server name this is important so go to your cpanel home once again I'm going to go to my cPanel home here once again and the server name will be this IP address which is under this section so whenever you open your cPanel on the left hand side you can find this IP address here right website IP address so you can just copy this IP address and go to your file and then instead of localhost here and uh, you can paste your IP address for your website as a server name okay so this you can do this or you have one more option you can copy this website name 
for example my in my case this is easy online converter dot com I can just copy this uh, URL and I can paste it instead of uh, this IP address something like this so you can do both either the name of your website or the IP of your website I'm going to use this IP for now okay and then I'm going to save the changes so save changes and it's going to save your file now once again I'm going to go to my file manager and this time I'm going to edit my login.php file so this is my login.php file and I'm going to click uh, code editor and then click edit and this file also will be blank for now so what I'm going to do I'm going to just go to my login.php file which I've created just copy all the data there and then paste here okay and I think in here we don't need to change anything right so con.php is the file name which we require which we have already created and the query will be same because the table name and the you know column names are same in vamp server mysql database and cpanel mysql database so I don't need to change anything so I can just save this file also so once you have done this and uh, you have saved both these files now these uh, two files are on your server and you can see here both these files are on my public underscore HTML file so this is just like home uh, uh, you know directory for your uh, cPanel web hosting okay so if you are confused you can just uh, search for your index.html so in the folder where your index.html is there just create these PHP file there okay now once you have created your files you can go to your uh, Android studio and here we have written uh, this code in the last video for uh, the login page right so in here just go to the background worker class which we have created in the last video now in here in your background worker class what we have done in our do in background method if you remember we have uh, given the URL of the server and then the login.php script right so in this is basically your local host IP address right now we want to change this uh, IP address in the case of our web hosting so just go to your uh, web hosting and in here in your cPanel home you just need to copy your website name so whatever is here on the top just copy this and then go to your Android app and change this IP with your uh, website name for example in my case easyonlineconverter.com right and we already have login.php created using the you know file manager you in our cpanel for this website okay so you just need to change this IP address uh, to this website name and basically you are done so you can just run your app and my app is running now so let's see what is the username and password in our cPanel MySQL database. So you can see here uh, our username is Tom and password is 123 in our cPanel MySQL database. So I'm going to give the same name and the password 123. And I'm going to click login. And it says login success welcome user. Okay now for example you want to change this message and we want to be sure that this is the same PHP file which we have created on our cPanel what we can do is once again you can go to your uh, file manager and open login.php using this code editor and click edit and this is the code which we have written till now and once your uh, login is success we are showing this message so we can change this message in our case so just go inside if condition and add these two lines one is uh, dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore fetch underscore 
ASSOC and then you are passing this result argument as an argument here okay and once you have your row result then you can parse your column values using their index okay so just create a new uh, variable called name is equal to do this dollar symbol and then row and just in the square bracket in the double quotes write the name of your column so my column name is for example i want to show this uh, name of the user which is this column name right so i'm going to just give this column name and then in here i can just uh, copy my name variable from here and instead of uh, you know saying welcome user i will delete this user and instead of saying welcome user i will just add this dot and then the variable name which is uh, name here okay so just write that and save your code once again and then go to your app which is already running and once again click login and now it says login success welcome tom right we can just give the space here and save it once again and once again press login and you can see login success welcome tom which is the username which we have provided here okay so in this way you can connect your uh, android app to online cpanel mysql database i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye